All right, so there's two things I want to talk about today that don't really belong in a garage. One is bedroom slippers, and the other is hairspray. I uh, picked this up yesterday for a specific automotive purpose. This is the Rave 4X Mega Unscented Hairspray. I don't need to have my car smelling fruity or anything like that, but this is for style that stays. 2X, 3X, 4X, whatever that is. It says here on the back, Rave Hairspray, made for people who keep their hair out late. When I go to bed at night, I don't know what my hair does, but if it stays out late, great. Say goodbye to mid-party style slump. Rave holds, and holds so that you can focus on the fun at hand instead of your hair. You know, yeah, that's not something I worry about, but what this works great for is uh, intercooler piping, believe it or not. What you do with it, basically, is you spray it around the inside of the coupler, and then uh, it works as a lubricant as you squish the coupler over the pipe, and when it hardens, it practically glues that thing to the pipe. So, with the help of some hairspray, you can keep pieces from blowing apart um, under boost. And I've got a boost leak tester here I was trying to attach to my uh, turbine inlet. And uh, had problems with it blowing off because the turbine inlet does not have a lip on it. Yeah, I got a leaky coupler. As you see there, there's no lip. That's not cool. So there's nothing to keep that thing from blowing off that the clamp can grab onto. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tool apart and first I'm going to hairspray this uh, top coupler in so I don't blow that out. And then I'm going to hairspray this part of the coupler, clamp it down to the turbine inlet and uh, let that dry and set up before doing a boost leak test. When I hit 22 pounds last time, I blew this tool off. And that wasn't very useful of a test because I plan to run well more than 30 pounds through this engine. In my boost leak tester making video, there was a part of it where I said to use 3M spray adhesive. That was horribly incorrect. And the reason why, it's too flexible of an adhesive for it to actually be able to grip on this. So, the reason I'm using hairspray on this is because it dries hard. Not a toy. Unscented. It smells like bubble gum. Good grief. I'll let that set up. Just trying not to get it all over me. Got it all the way around. Time to put this in the car, quickly. I've blown this tool off several times trying to do this. I heard that. It happens usually around 20 PSI. I hear air. Maybe it's going to open up after. There you go. Yep. Find it. Find it. That's enough of trouble. Oh, forgot to turn the compressor off. Hold on. Here the boost controller leaking. That's about it. We're at 20 pounds. This is about where it blew off before. We're almost at 30 pounds. She sounds like she's holding. I'm going to blow this tool apart soon. Yep, that's what you hear giving up. I think she's good. I'd like to test it higher than that, but I really don't trust the tool to stay on when, with no lip on the edge of that turbine outlet. It's taking it a long time to leak back down. <laughs> 